Hey everybody, welcome back to our next FM Live episode. I'm Matt and we're going to be discussing aftermarket steering wheel options for a race car or street application. First things we want to make sure that you are aware of that are, that airbags are uh, dangerous and we don't want you to get uh, hurt. So if you're not familiar with the practices of removing an airbag, you probably should get have a professional do this install or read the OE manual. And to further protect uh, Flying Miata, we want to let you know that Flying Miata does not promote tampering with or removing an airbag in a street car. So this should settle our lawyers down a little bit. And as long as you sign the waiver at the bottom of the screen, everybody will be okay. All right. So race cars first because, well, they go faster. Um, we're going to be running a NRG setup on this with quick, quick release options. So first things first, you drive your race car into the shop. You want to make sure that your steering wheel is nice and straight so that when you put these other components on, you won't have to reposition the steering wheel. If you come over here, I have a little bit of a display to show you. So you just pulled it in. You, your steering wheel is straight. The next thing is to get out of your car, pull the battery cable, and turn on the headlights, push the brake, whatever you need to do to discharge any capacitors. At that time, you, you can go ahead and remove the airbag. This is not an instructional video, so that's up to you to figure these things out. There are some bolts in the back to do that. Pull the airbag off, re undo some connectors, and you should see this part. Remove the steering wheel, sorry. And you should see this. This is your clock spring for a race car. We don't need this anymore because this is for airbags and we don't run airbags in race cars. So this can go away, sell it to a buddy because theirs might have broke. And this is what you'll be seeing. If you're running a race car and you need your multifunction switch, turn indicators, greasy parts you don't want to touch, um, you do want to retain this part here. With our NRG hub, you can see that they made some cutout marks here so that this can still be a function. What's the gold part? Well, that's a brass ring so that when you install it, you can still have a horn function only if you make a tab with some sort of metal coming from here or any location that will rub onto this and that will be your ground side. Your next bit is going to be a nut. Um, even though these are nylocks, I always put a little bit of blue Loctite there because I've been told nylocks are a single use nut and you really shouldn't trust them after the first install. Our next bit is going to be part of the quick release. And we have a couple of wire connectors for the horn option because we have contacts from our steering wheel. Pretty simple. We have NRG on the short hub facing up. We have what well, you can kind of see NRG on the adapter facing up. Oh no, I'm not left handed. We'll see how this goes. because you guys are watching. This is how you strip bolts out. No, not really. For normal practices, you probably should put more than two of these in. Okay. That's pretty much the simplest part of it. You get to choose your way of steering wheel. Make sure that the holes align to the NRG adapter, quick release adapter. A um, couple things to mention is if you want your steering wheel to be closer to you, um, you want a larger dish. So the dish is from this surface roughly to this surface. So if you have a three inch dish, this part of the steering wheel is going to be closer to you than the center of the steering wheel. This is how you can get a good proper seating position. Um, I believe steering, or I'm sorry, driving instructors would like you to have, when you're properly belted in, to have your wrists comfortably rest on top of the steering wheel 
to have a nice steering position. So it's up to you to figure out what dish of wheel or adapter size that you need to properly fit yourself in the car. All right, so last but not least, the steering wheel. You can put it on any direction and then it locks in the straight ahead uh, portion. On some of the older, maybe not NGR, but just older designs of steering wheels, quick releases, you always had to have the steering wheel straight ahead or you could be driving down the road like this and it would actually snap in. So a really nice function of this, it won't lock in until it's in that upright position. They have different generations for different designs. I think this is Gen 4. You don't have to have this ugly green color, but uh, it was necessary for my race application. So somebody says. All right, so there's race cars. Now, for your street car, same situation. Uh, we're gonna pull the car in, steering wheel nice and straight. Uh, we're gonna get out, remove the battery cable, try to press on something electrical to discharge those capacitors. And for a good street, uh, street steering wheel, we have the Cypher steering wheel. And we'll go through a little bit of the process over here and then we'll see the difference between the stock steering wheel and the Cypher steering wheel. So maybe you can see the steering wheel. <clears throat> The ND, NB is not a bad design. A lot of people put these in their NA cars and that is possible, um, but you will have an airbag light if you don't do a couple of electronic things. And since Flying Miana doesn't tamper with airbags, it'll be up to you to decide, out, to decide how to wire an NB bag into an NA system. I do believe it's it is possible. Look on the forums for that information. All right, batteries disconnected, discharged, steering wheel is nice and straight. We remove the airbag like I mentioned before, take off these airbag connectors, gently place this over here. <clears throat> and now we're at the steering wheel. Single nut, you guys remember this from the race car. To get the steering wheel off, I didn't mention this before, it usually is stuck on there fairly good, but a good forward backwards motion, two hands, and it usually pops loose. Uh, you do have an area here if you needed a, a puller, but normally we can get these off just by with a little bit of over a forcement. Feed the connector through. So what do you need to transfer over from your stock steering wheel to your Cypher steering wheel? It's going to be this airbag back bracket. A couple of Allen bolts. Very important, these NB Cypher steering wheels, uh, let's see here, 99 to 03 do a four bolt airbag bracket to the steering wheel, which the Cypher steering wheel will allow. Some 03 plus models, factory airbags, they have a three point. So that bracket, that you're going to remove from their factory wheel won't fit a Cypher steering wheel. This is where you can, if you have an 03 plus, including Mazda Speed, you can find a salvage yard NB99 to 03. As long as it's a four bolt bracket, you can have that bracket to your Cypher steering wheel and have these on your Mazda Speeds and 03 plus cars. So the brackets on here you have to imagine a little bit <clears throat> we have our wheel straight we pulled the wheel off the factory wheel off nice and straight so all we're going to do is put this on in generally a straight configuration if you start going down the road after we're all done and you realize that the steering wheel is off a little bit you will have to take the nut off and move the splines over there's not a flat spot on the shaft itself so you can move these with small increments to straighten your steering wheel back out. Gently place factory airbag back into the steering wheel. And with a little bit of make-believe, this is what your steering wheel will look like when you get it installed. 
we really like the cypher steering wheels for a few options or for a few reasons reasons uh a little bit of a a flat steering wheel down here to help our longer customers uh with a little bit of clearance and it has a little thicker area around the steering wheel but the diameter is the same i really like the foam cutouts if you have your hands above the center it's nice handhold or if you are a shuffler from the bottom uh, it still has a nice handling position so that concludes pretty much a brief description on aftermarket race car applications and street car applications and we did have a lot of questions that we can go over is this okay for going over those right here i'll just keep on my fanny i guess can you talk about what part exactly needs to be sourced from a 99 or 2000 car to fit a cypher steering wheel in an 0405 uh, mazda speed including i did keep this on here just in case i forgot to mention that earlier that was pretty clear i think if you have questions uh, please put them at the bottom of the tab for any of these stock nb wheel with the airbag for an na car once again i remembered this so uh, i believe it's possible it's up to you to figure out how to wire it properly is it safe to remove the spacer under the steering wheel column for more leg room you could probably see on the steering column out there there is a little bit of a gap um, I haven't heard of this being done before. If you feel that it will gain you the adequate leg room and feel comfortable about the safety precautions that this might include, uh, sure, have at it. Let us know. I like to keep the airbag in my 90, but what is, what is the likelihood that it still even operates reliably with how old the car is? Good question. So these cars are fairly old in A and B generations. Does the airbag even work now? Well, Mazda was pretty smart and they have modules in there that will illuminate a light, which can be tampered with. So just because you don't have a light illuminated, possibly your airbags might not be functioning, but they also have an uh, audible noise too, I believe, if it fails mm, circuitry in the board somehow. So. I would check the light first, make sure you have good 12 volts there. And if your light is still not on, I think that your airbag should be functional. How to get rid of the airbag light after steering wheel swap. Well, that's gonna be kind of, uh, we're gonna stay on the race car situation. If we're removing an airbag, that's the only place that we're gonna uh, think that's a good idea. If it's going to be in a street application, your airbag should be functional. And with our nice Cypher steering wheel here, that's, that's possible. How safe is it for road use with or without the harnesses? So I think this customer is thinking about um, if you take, if you remove your airbag, but you have harnesses, uh, five point harness, then it's acceptable. I'm gonna stay with the old lawyer explanation of, hey, you should have an airbag in your street car, no matter what, what harnesses you are wearing. And if you're wearing street, if you're wearing race harnesses for a street driver, that's a huge pain. So that's just up to you. Is connecting the wires for the horn that hard? Lots of people skip it. For our NRG hub, it's not. Uh, you do have to be a little bit, a bit of a fabricator on the grounding circuit, as I showed you on the back of that short hub, but it's pretty simple. Any smaller diameter wheels that can keep an airbag? This is the same diameter of stock. This is the only cipher, cipher is the only steering wheel that I'm familiar with. So, sorry, I can't answer that question. How should I determine how far out it will sit? I believe this person is uh, referencing the wheel. So once again, I mentioned before, in your belted position, you wanna have the creak of your wrist overhang the steering wheel in a race application. Um, we want to be nice and close uh, so we don't fatigue as quickly as normally if you're hanging out back here. Now, if you're going around the block, eh, I don't think it's that important. You can have a steering wheel, whatever feels comfortable for you. So I would get the seat position correct by making sure you can function the pedals and then deal with the steering wheel and figure out what, uh, what did I say, dish you need on the steering wheel itself. 
Will the horn still work with an aftermarket wheel? And RG says it will. What actual benefit is there to replace the factory steering wheel? Now we mentioned the, bit, the options that the Cypher steering wheel has. Um, it's an updated look. If your car is looking a little bit ratty, uh, we have some custom stitching options here, colors on stitching options. And, and I think it does improve the looks of the car in general. How much time does it usually take to swap the steering wheel? Well, this can be pretty dramatic depending on your mechanical abilities, but I would say an hour, an hour and a half, you can probably get this done. If you use a quick release steering wheel, will you have an airbag light? Absolutely, because with any quick release that I'm familiar with, it's gonna be in a race car application and your airbags uh, aren't going to be applicable there. What is the best diameter without obscuring the gauges? Mm, evidently, Cypher thinks this is a pretty good thickness for the average customer, but it really depends on your height in the steering, in the seating position to figure out if you can see most of your gauges or not. Um, the Cypher is ideal for most people. Is it safe to have an aftermarket steering wheel, but keep your stock seat and seat belts? Right there you go. Cypher is a good reason why, yes, everything's safe. You still get to use a factory airbag. How dangerous is the lack of an airbag? Well, I believe statistics show that most people, uh, let me restate. <clears throat> Let's see, airbags save more lives than they don't <laughs> uh, for damaging from yourself of the airbag so i'm going to say it's pretty important in a street car are there any fun options for the nd that maintain the factory controls cruise volume etc both the nc and nd generation of the cypher steering wheel will allow full access of your factory buttons and i believe i did talk to cypher and they said that the paddle shifters on the side of the ncs for the automatic cars, uh, they should transfer over. They've never had any complaints. It was not 100% guarantee, but that's how he stated it to me. So there you go, NC customers with paddle shifters. The Cypher steering wheel is for you. Any options that support the stock? Oh, there we go, sorry, I didn't erase that comment. Will it pass New Hampshire vehicle inspection? An aftermarket race application quick release i doubt if it will a cypher since it retains the factory airbag we haven't heard of any complaints but i would ask your your local referee to make sure what hubs <clears throat> excuse me what hubs do we recommend for non-airbag applications well the nrg hub is a nice budget-minded hub that we use on race applications and i'm sure there's a multitude of different ones i would stick with a name brand and then go from there. So, hopefully I didn't miss too many things. Do we have any questions, Kyle? Got a couple. Uh, what's our opinion on cheap eBay steering wheels? What is our opinion on cheap eBay steering wheels? Well, my, my personal opinion is I like to steer cars when they need to be steered. So, if you would like to test this theory and remove your steering, nah, forget that. Hey, it's not a good idea. <laughs> What's your next question? Uh, there's a couple of them I'll, I'll skip because we can probably answer them more in depth later on. Um, <laughs> will a new Cypher steering wheel work on my horse carriage? Ah, Cypher steering wheels and old technology as horse carriages. Um, I think with some ingenuity, I think it will fit on your horse carriage. How you apply the steering mechanism to the animal in charge is gonna be up to you. Um, yeah, I think a lot of these other questions that we have are very lengthy to respond to and or very specific to a particular installation that we might touch on them. Gotcha. Do you want me to so, read them off? Or? Nah, I think we'll just hold those off and answer those individually. Uh, some of the other questions that you customers have is a little bit more in depth than we want to go with this. 
episode. We will get to those and shoot you a, a post later on. Thanks for watching. I believe we're on for next Thursday at 2 o'clock. And we're going to be talking about possibly some 3D parts. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.